Now this weekend, a very interesting film is hitting theaters, Cocaine Bear. <laughs> it sounds funny even saying the title, okay? The trailer is a little silly, I think, but I'm hoping we can give you a little more explanation of what it's really about. So here to chat is film critic, Lanita Cook. Hi, Lanita. Hey, good morning, Ashley. <laughs> okay, so I just, I can't help but, you know, let out the giggles when we talk about Cocaine Bear. <laughs> Tell me a little mm -hmm. bit about this. <laughs> so Cocaine Bear is a, an Elizabeth Banks film, and it is based on true events. So in 1985, uh, uh, pounds of cocaine rained from the sky, and a bear uh, got a hold of it and, and took took uh, about 75 pounds of it. And so the the creatives behind this movie imagined what would happen if that bear went on a killing rampage. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And so it also, I mean, even though this is, this is a true story, it's a little, I mean, you just look at that. It's a little funny. They, they're calling it a wild, dark comedy. Is that, is that the way you would describe it? Uh, I would say it's wild. I would say it's dark. I, it's definitely funny, but it's also bananas. It is <laughs> demented. It is brutal and bloody. It is a lot of things. I will say um, it's being compared uh, by some to Jaws even. But I, 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 I think that most people love this movie, but I will warn you, there are some things about the movie that if you are a little bit more conservative, uh, they might uh, turn you off a bit. But everybody I've talked to has absolutely loved it. it and they're saying it's so bad, it's good. Ooh, okay. Now, also, I, I see in this trailer that we're showing, uh, we have O'Shea Jackson Jr. in this film who I just think is a budding star. He is doing an amazing job. Some people say he looks more like his father than his father looks like himself. <laughs> How was his performance in twinsies. this? <laughs> How do you think his performance was in this, this movie? Oh, he is amazing. I agree with you. He's a fantastic actor. And I'm so happy um, to see him blossoming in his craft. But he plays um, a 1980s drug dealer who is uh, obsessed with his tennis shoes and his sports jersey. <laughs> <laughs> and so, it, and so the, the characterizations of all of these different characters, is where are you going to get that humor? Um, we have Isaiah Whitlock Jr. Uh, who is a well-known uh, face also. He plays a detective, like a 1980s detective, who is in love with this fancy girly dog. And so they really bring those character combinations together to create humor for us. Yeah, this is almost like a, this is a big cast. We got Carrie Russell, uh, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, and Ray Liotta. I mean. <laughs> oh, oh, Ray Liotta. Oh, my goodness. This is, And I'm going to say something like, this is one movie for him uh, to kind of leave his legacy on. Uh, it's, he gives a phenomenal per performance. Um, the, the movie is just quirky enough to go, okay. Okay, it's worthy, Ray. It's worthy. <laughs> I love that. He's a, he's like a national treasure. You gotta love Ray Leon. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, Lenita, thank you so much for stopping by. I can't wait to go see it. I have to check it out. Just, I mean, the title alone makes me be like, I need some popcorn. I need to sit down. <laughs> I thank okay, you so Ashley, much for being here. I, it, it is a blast. I'm gonna tell you, Prepare yourself. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm going to get centered and just focus in. <laughs>